Hello, everyone. My name's Carol, and for the next half hour, I'm going to take you through an exercise program that will work you all through your body. Hips to the toes. So I'm hoping you get a really good workout from it. Make sure you take it at your own pace. If anything hurts you, just stop it immediately. And then if you may be able to modify it, and then you can continue. But it is really important that if anything does hurt you, that you stop it immediately. All right, we're going to start off by making sure we're sitting up nice and tall in our chair. Now, if you're on a chair like I am, you can slip your hands in at the back of the chair and there should be a gap. Try and avoid, if you can, leaning back on your chair because we're really wanting to work all the back muscles. If you're in a comfortable chair and you can't put your arms down by your side, just pop them on your armrest for comfort's sake because we do do quite a bit of work with our arms so we need them to be freed up. All right, our first exercise. We're going to swing that leg forward and back. Now, I want you to try and control your abdominal muscles, tummy muscles. So take that leg forward just as far as you can. I might be able to get it right up in the air. My mother was like that. She used to be able to always kick her leg right up in the air. Or you can keep it lower. Up to you. Let's do the other leg. Take it forward and back. So what we're working here, we're working these muscles right up here. You might feel it in the back of your leg as well, but we're mainly working here. Now why we want those muscles to be strong is so when we're walking around, when we're bending over, bending up and down, if we want to pick something up off the floor, other leg again. Take it forward and back. Keep those tummies nice and tall and strong. Other side again. Take it in your own time. I just want to shake those hands off. So we're trying to get the blood right through. Circulation is something we always need to work on. So just give those hands a bit of a shake. Now we're going to take them up to the side and right up overhead and down again. And up. And down. Let's go back to that leg through and back again. Just swinging it through. You ought to feel that leg working. Let's do the other side. And shake those hands up, right up over here. If you have trouble taking your arms up over here, you can just take your arms forward and back down again. So you're taking them forward and back. You can take them up, 
Now, if you're on a chair like I am, just make sure you're holding the chair. If you're on a chair with armrests, just rest those arms there, or you can pop your hands down beside you. What we're going to do is we're going to bend it over to the side, come up again, and we're going to bend forward. And up. Other side. And up. And forward. And up. Now, if you wanted to add something extra in, you could bring your arms up to your neck here. Try and pull those elbows right back for me. Let's do that one again with the arms up. You'll notice it's a little bit different. Over to the side. And forward. Other side and forward. Here we go. Do you feel that working right up the side of your body? When we bend forward, we're working our abdominals, our tummy muscles. Over and bend forward. Bring those arms down again. And we're going to swing both legs forward and back. Swing them forward. Again, take them to your level. If you can only do a little swing to here, good. Or you can take them up as high as you'd like. Try and keep the back up nice and tall. Just have a rest here. This time we're going to take them up and hold them, and I'm going to count to 15. Let's see how you go. Take them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bring them down. Just give them a little shake off. Legs are rough. Well done if you made it that one. We're going to do that again. This time we're going to hold for 12 counts. Are you ready? Up we go and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, drop them down for them. Just give them a shake and a rub off. We've got to keep our legs really strong so when we walk around everywhere, we can go up and down stairs. Very important. We're going to hold them for eight this time. Let's take them up and hold. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and bring them down. Well done, everyone. We're going to go back to that side bend and forward bend again. Take those arms up. We're going to take it over and bend it forward and up to the side. And forward. Now remember, you can do it without your arms up at neck press. Let's bend it over to the side. Forward. Other side. Up. And forward. And up. Over we go. Up. Forward. Last one to the side. And up. And forward. 
forwards. Coming up. We're going to hold those legs up for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How are you going? Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Drop them back in the rock. We're going to take them up to 12 this time. Let's go. Up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Drop them down again for me. We've got one more set to go, and that's for eight. Up we go again. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and drop them down. Sitting up nice and tall, keep those tummy muscles strong, keep the back tall. We're going to take both arms forward. We're going to take one arm up and one arm down. We're going to take both forward again, other arm up, and change them over. Forward, and up. And forward, and up. So you're changing them over each time. Forward, and up. Forward and up. Last one and up. Good. Well done. Just circle those shoulders off. It's lovely to relax those shoulders, doesn't it? Now, we're going to lift the knee up, tap it to the side, up again, and down. Up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, down, lift. Just tap that toe to the floor. Keep it going if you can. If you need a break, just take one. got four more before we go back to that arm exercise we did before. Two more. Take both arms forward, bring them up, and lift. Forward again, change those arms. It's a bit of a challenge sometimes for our thinking. Go forward and up. Forward. Just keep going at your pace. Some of you may be able to go quickly. Other ones a little bit slow. Two more. them down again. We're going to lift that knee up and tap it to the side. Now lift it up, tap, up, together, up, tap, up, together, lift. Four to go. Got 
Senhor. Now, I want you to march those legs up and down. Bring your hands up here. And we're going to take them side to side. Try and get those palms facing straight forward. Lift your knees up as high as you can. Now we're going to push. Push. So we're pushing up and across the body. Push. Push up as hard as you can. Try and keep the shoulders pushed down. Try not to lift these shoulders as you take your arms up. Pushing up. Last two. Then we go back to our marching again. And let's march it up. Arms up. Up we go. And you can be as big if you want with these arms like this. Or you can bring them in nice and narrow. Take it at your level. You might want to do some of each. Or you might want to do them all big. We got to push, push. Try and keep your legs going if you can. You'll be marching. Be quicker. See how you manage it. There you go. Take it at that slower level if you'd like. All right. Bring those arms down. Let's circle the shoulders again. And do a bit of arm work there. Tap it forward. Hold it on for the moment. Bring the arms up here. Now, what I'd like you to do with this tap forward is see if you can do opposite arm to leg. Off we go. And forward and back. Forward. You might have to stop and start again. How are you going? Have you managed to get it? Or have you got arms and legs going everywhere? Sometimes I get a bit like that. Let's reach these arms right up. Now I want you to bend it down as far as you can to the floor. Okay. Reaching up. Now when we come back up again, we're working all our tummy muscles to pull us back up straight again. Let's bend it forward. Coming up. Now, if you are unable to take the hands over here, just take them forward here like I'm doing. Then you reach it forward. Coming up again. Arms up overhead or forward. And reach it forward.
sitting up for me. Tap that foot forward again. Bring those arms up ready. Remember, we're going to try and do opposite arm forward with a punch to your leg. And out. Hope it's going well. Last two. Then we take our arms over here. Or forwards. Up. Let's bend it through. Just as far as you can go. Coming up again slowly. When you go forward, make sure you don't drop your head down too far. One more. Take it forward. Sitting up tall. Well done, everyone, with that one. Let's circle these wrists around. We're going to stretch them wide and narrow. Circle them again for me. You don't have to do the circles quickly, just so make sure it's a nice big circle. Really important that we keep our wrists mobile, especially if we've got some arthritis. And stretch it. Now, I want you to put your hands on your back. I'll turn around and show you where. Just pop them on your back here, whatever different chairs you may be sitting in. Pull the elbows back for me. Now, what I want you to do is push those hands into your waist and sit up nice and tall. So we're getting a lovely stretch. And relax it. Bring the arms back forward again or down. Take those hands up onto your waist again. Draw the elbows back and push. Relax the arms. Circle them round. Hands back on that waist again. Draw the elbows back, keep the shoulders down in place, and gently push into your bottom. Okay, let's take them out. Taking one hand forward. Take the other hand up to your fingers and pull the fingers back slightly. Now you may be able to just pull them to here. Everybody has different movement in their wrist. And put the other arm up. Ready to pull it back for me. Let's 
change over again. And change over. Those arms down, now lifting one shoulder up and down. Try and push it up as high as you can. When you think you've reached your limit, just try and take it a little bit higher. Quite often we can uh, take it higher. Other side. Try and keep that back up nice and tall. Now let's roll them both forward. And let's push them back. Forward again. And back. Forward. And back. Up time, forward. And back. We're going to take that shoulder up and down again and lift and down. Other side for me. Lift it up. your shoulder go. Let's roll them both forward. Roll them both forward. Push them back. Roll them forward. Push back. Forward. Push back. I want you to lift your leg up for me. Draw it up to your chest. Try not to round over like this when you do it. Try and keep that body up nice and tall. Other leg for me. Lifting it up. Hold it there. We're using our tummy muscles here. And other side. Turn it around to the side. One arm across the body. Other side. Well done, everyone, today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that workout, and you'll join me again soon. Bye-bye.